Hello and welcome back to the second part of the Microsoft O365 integration for the Sentinel-1 XDR platform. Now that we can ingest our O365 audit logs, we can start looking at ways to actually make the data useful. So in this case, I'll be showing you how to create a dashboard to actually list the logins. So the first thing we'll want to do here is actually filter by the event type that we want. In my case, logons. I'll do a quick search to see the formatting of things. So here I can see some useful uh, fields that I might want to use. So here we have email address, IP address, um, maybe creation time could be useful. So to create a dashboard and actually test our queries out, we'll go ahead and copy our current query, go to search, power queries, and now we have our query. So we can do a quick search to filter through this data and pick out the fields that we want. So in this case, I'll go ahead and actually grab the user IDs, which are the emails. So parse, and then as seen here, we can actually copy this. Uh, we can see in the middle user ID, perfect. So I'll copy this, there you go. And now if I search, I should be able to see the usernames. I'll create a second one to parse out the client IPs. Perfect. That works. Now we have the client IPs too. And finally, I'll just uh, create columns. So the first column I'll use is actually the timestamp. After that, I want to see the username and then finally the client IP. We can do a quick search. This looks like a neat format that we might want to use. So I'll copy our whole query, go to dashboards. If we don't already have a dashboard, we can create it. I have one here, add a widget, table. So I'll write logins and then enter our search. Okay. And here we have our filtered results. Thank you.